Breaking news, Atiku Abubakar dropped as IBB, PDP Northern Elders, finally chose consensus candidate for the People Democratic Party. Trouble starts in earnest. Well, my wonderful people, it's happening. Atiku Abubakar, former um, vice president of Nigeria, seriously earnestly wants to become nigerian's president and is doing everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that he becomes nigerian's president atiku abubakar has you know he was the very first person in case you're not aware and the people democratic party to go ahead and to purchase that very form one of the very first persons like one of the very very first persons you know and um, he's purchased that form and um, right now it's no longer business as usual um, they've been having meetings in this in the north because uh, we have about four northern candidates who are also interested in this very uh, position to take on from take over from president muhammad buhari why the call remains that you know the consensus candidate should be from the south However, Northerners in PDP wants to hold on to that position and still wants to be there. Atiku Abubakar, after the rule was called up, he was dropped like a pack of card um, he, and he's fighting back. So the real trouble begins. Let's get all the details as Atiku fights back. 2023, Atiku dropped as IPOB, IPB, that is Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, PDP Northern Elders finally chose consensus candidate for the presidency. He fights back. The Northern Elders, Atiku Abubakar, is not the man to lead Nigeria from the north. And PDP in 2023 presidential battle with other political parties. And so for that reason, his time has come and gone. We are picking other candidates. The Elders on Friday, April the 22nd, chose Governor Bala Mohammed and the former Senate President Bukola Seraki asked the best candidate for the People Democratic Party to represent them from the North. A report by the Elder Committee chose Committee on the Choice made has already received the approval of the former military head of state, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, Governor Balam. Mohammed of Bachi State and the former Senate President Bukola Seraki have been chosen by the Northern Elders to represent PDP from the North as candidate for 2023 presidency. Professor Angola, the head of the committee, who screened the aspirants from the region, noted that the process that produced Mohammed and Seraki was rigorous and they have come through it and they found that, that the man Atiku could not possibly major up as at today with all that is done. In previous or another circumstances, he could have been the candidate or the choice. But as it stands, if the North will have a chance, it is no longer Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar has been a great leader. He led and he's done his time. But if this party must move forward and the North must have a chance, the candidate for that position, it's no longer Atiku Abubakar. And that's why we have chosen more worthy sons from the region to represent us with regards to PDP primaries. The other region will produce their consensus and the primaries will hold. Then the person to lead the party as a flag bearer will overall be chosen. Atiku, however, have decreed and declared that he will go ahead for the screening of PDP and he will contest and win. So he fights back. Atiku has declared that nobody can, you know, sabotage his opportunity to become Nigerian's president and has, you know, refused and said no. He will succeed President Muhammad Buhari. Come ring, come shine. Okay, this man is over 75 years of age and whatever happens, he still wants to be Nigerian's president. And um, irrespective of people coming about to say they are making a discussion to him, that is their business, really sincerely speaking. He can't be bothered. Honestly, he can't be bothered with whatever their choice they are making on that regards, on that ground. He just can't be bothered. He's made up his mind that he's going to go for the PDP uh, screening 
you know, you know, if they fit a consensus candidate, then it does not have to go. But he's saying, you know what? I don't care. Like, seriously, I don't care whatever choice you guys are making. I don't care. I just want to be that candidate. And come rain, come shine, I will be the candidate. So there is really, if you say fire on the mountain, I don't think you're wrong. There is really serious call for concern. Okay. So this is what is happening. Um, and, P you know, PDP, you know, will have consensus candidate from the regions. And afterwards, they will pick, uh, you know, the South will also have their meeting. Um, there are people who are also in that regard from the South, you know, who have potentially could become the candidate. And so, you know, so there is really uh, the move and the call for these things to become, uh, you know, the what should be. People are beginning to, you know, put in their interest and their position and saying, I will not let this happen. No, not anymore. It has happened before. We let it by. But now, no way. The word is no way. Are we going to allow that to happen? We're going to stand by our decision. We're going to stand by what is right. And we're going to stand by what is true. And we're going to ensure, okay, that we, we have our, 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 you know, our set position. And we're going to stand by it, okay? So this is what is happening. Northern uh, candidates have, you know, picked. However, it does not stand or it does, it's not in agreement, you know, with what is on ground. They don't agree. They don't want it. They say, no, it can't happen. It just can't happen. So this is what is going on right now. These are part of the things going on. And um, Nigerians will keep you more up to speed uh, because the Northerners are particularly now not happy with the current state of things. They are saying we can't allow this, not anymore, okay, not anymore. So these are part of the issues going on. And, um, you know, when there is trouble like this, when there's fire on the mountain, then you know it's a big, big one, okay. They say it's a big, big one. It is a big one. So these are issues, real issues happening now. So who is going to be, who is going to be the one and how is it going to stand? Who is going to be the one to, you know, to stand for, you know, for the North, you know, because um, this is very serious matters. We're talking about uh, people standing up to say, I don't want that. Why was he picked? Why would, why was I not picked? What is the criteria? Who said she's the best? Who said he's the best? So it is, my wonderful people. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Uh, don't forget you have a voice. Let it stand and let it count. Bye for now. Bye.